Ja die stammen keer op de ring, daar zit hartstikke in. En kan jullie bedenken correct wat hij zei? Clarify wat hij zei? She said she is observing the moment of the thought. That's why I said that thoughts are coming. So, anybody understood what I said? The moment of the stomach. Moment of the stomach, moment of the stomach she is observing. I said that's why thoughts are coming. Can anybody clarify what I said? It should be effortless, you know, the focus is there. Then. The mind is uh, still playing. The stomach is, uh, it is uh, connected to the thoughts. I, I the way it is just that you you don't think of the stomach or feel the thing. It's just very natural. So you are just see when you say I am observing the stomach. Mm. You are in the physical domain. Okay. Mm. I asked you to go to consciousness domain. <laughs> I said I am consciousness, which is silence. In that silence or movement is taking place, which is Shakti. So I am not observing stomach. Okay? So that is the meaning of Shivoham. Shivoham is not chanting. Shivoham is shifting your domain from the physical domain to consciousness domain. In consciousness domain, what is there? Silence is there. In that silence or movement is happening, Shakti. Okay? It's not stomach actually. So now, when you are in physical domain, thoughts will come because thoughts are related to physical domain. So when you shift your attention to consciousness, Shivoham is not a mantra to be chanted. Shivoham, Shivoham, Shivoham. It's not a hypnotism. Shivoham is shifting from physical domain to consciousness domain. Where I am Shiva, which means consciousness, which is silence. In that silence, one small movement is happening, coming. Movement is life, death. Life death and pause so there is no thoughts possible there because in the consciousness domain there is no thought the very fact that thoughts have come you have come to physical domain you are observing the stomach okay start with observing stomach but shift to conscious domain i am consciousness in that consciousness Are you clear? Okay. Right? See, thoughts come depending on the domain. If you are at home, thoughts of cooking will come. If you are in the office, thoughts of office will come. Right? If you are in movie, thoughts of movie will come. Right? When you are in the physical domain, thoughts will come. But in the conscious domain, don't know thoughts. Silence. That's why Soham just not a it's not a just a word. Soham is oh I have come to physical domain. Let me go back to conscious domain. Which is silence. In the consciousness domain, what is there? There's one movement is there, which is movement in consciousness, like a ocean wave is coming, going down. That's only ocean wave. Like the consciousness, there's a movement, Shakti. Is it clear to you? Any questions? The, that's the movement of consciousness. You have to see it as a movement of consciousness. Not you have to see. It is. It is. <laughs> Everything is a movement in consciousness. Okay? The moment we give a name, then you get trapped in the domain. Right? The Soham is a reminder for you. Go back to consciousness. That's what Brit is doing 24 hours a day for you. Shakti is telling, go back. Shiva, you are Shiva, you are Shiva. You are not listening. No, I am the body, I am Lakshmi, I am Nisha, I am Mahuma. <laughs> right? I have taught you only two practices. One is related to Shiva, Sahaja Samadhi, one is related to Shakti. And what else can be there? And I have told you, not a practice actually. Practice means effort is there. Where is the effort here? Right? Mantra, the Muksanera. Mantra. Okay. So is it clear? Now let me know. Let me tell. What is the average lifespan of a human being? 70. At 
actually have it. Right? That is 124, we should live in average 60, 70. False. Actually, there is neither life, there is no death. So this what people call death is the death of the body. That also is not death. Really what's happening is when the breath goes in, the body becomes alive. When the breath goes out, the body becomes dead. Momentary. On, off. It's like uh, the bulb you put it in the body, no? Divide, no? on, off, on, off. The breath moves in, on. Breath moves out, off. In between there is a pause. Right? There is no breath. Momentary. So what's happening is life, death, no life, no death. The no life, no death is called pure consciousness. Life, huh? the gap between the two. Gap between the two. The life on, off, on, off. Okay, but I am neither born nor dying because I am able to observe this life and death. I am the consciousness. Life, death, life, death, on, off, pause. I am that eternal consciousness who is observing the life and death moment to moment. So if you understand that the fear of death will go, there is no life, there is no death at all. You are the deathless who is observing this life and death. Now what do you think, oh death is at the age of 70. Actually that is, a, that is the body fusing, the bulb is on, off, on of bulb is life, off of bulb is death. After some time the bulb gets fused, burnt. <laughs> That's called, that is what human beings, that normally people call as death. Okay, but death is really the moment to moment, on, off, on, off. Actually, that is actually the body is, body is gone at the 60 or 70. What is the importance of knowing that death and life is happening moment to moment? What is the importance of that? What is the significance of that? Every moment we are dying. So every moment who is dying? The, the body, body is dying. dying. Ah, you know, we are dying and body is dying. There's a difference. <laughs> the body is dying. Okay. So, you are not the body. You are observing. You are able to observe it. You understand? Every moment, the body is dying. I am dying is false. I am eternal. I am eternal. Okay. So, the concept of death happens after the age of 70 is false. Are you clear? So every moment if the body is dying, the mind is also dissolving and coming back. We'll come to that. Right? So now what is the importance of knowing that every moment body is dying? Then there is no fear yeah. of the actual death of the body finally. There is nothing. Mm -hmm. ah. Yes, exception. Okay? No. So really what happens at the time of death, the on, off, on, off is happening. So after the, as the death approaches, on, off, on, off, 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 off. That's all. That's happening now also. Why you are? <laughs> understand? And understand one more thing. That on off. The, when the body is coming up, the mind is coming up. When the body is gone, the mind is gone. Mind is gone. So now, the mind and body on, off. Every moment is happening. Now why are you troubled with all those memories? My childhood friend, my boyfriend, my girlfriend, uh, my disappointment in job. Why are they troubled? See, understand, at the time of death, when you came, you came as a child, fresh. No baggage at all. Right? There's no baggage at all to the child. Mind is fresh. You are blissful. Right? So, what happens at death? All the baggage are dropped. Nothing, no baggage you can carry. Except some impressions. Right? You carry it in next life. Isn't it? Otherwise, you have all your earning, money, everything is gone with the death, wiped out. Because death is death of the body. Right? Isn't it? 
So the death is actually again a clean slate. That's why again when you are born, you are born with almost clean slate as a child. Hmm? Yes or no? No. What about the conscious mind is clean? Wait, wait, wait. We'll come to that, right? First, logically understand, right? So the death is a wipe out. And you are born as a child. Child is fresh, blissful. Some vasanas will be there in past life. The tendency. Right? And the tendency will come up. Okay? For example, somebody is a musician in last life. The music tendency will come. Somebody may be a stotra or chanting. That tendency will come up. And as you grow, that tendency will pick up. That's a vasana. Correct? Yeah. Is it clear now? So death is actually arising. Okay? Understand? Now, why do you wait till death to arise? <laughs> okay? Why do you wait till death to arise? Because you are an illusion that I am the body, I am the mind. And this body mind is continuing. <laughs> the moment you understand, every moment body is dying and coming up, the memories will get wiped out slowly. Vasanas will get wiped out. <laughs> the trick to wipe out Vasanas is not to struggle with some sadhana. The trick to wipe out the vasanas is to understand the body and mind are dying moment to moment. So without, people think that death will happen at the age of 70 and all. That's an illusion. Moment to moment is birth and death is happening. If you understand that moment to moment your vasanas will be, your mind will be fresh like a child. Why vasanas are getting carried out? Because you have an illusion that I am the body and mind. This body and mind is continuous. That's why vasanas are getting carried out, <laughs> carried forward. Right? Mm -hmm. Can't you live with vasanas without vasanas? So we give it continuity basically. You are giving it illusory continuity. Yeah. <laughs> Illusion continuity. That illusory continuity will continue in next life also. That's what vasanas are going. The moment you do serious practice, you understand life and death is moment to moment. Everything is getting wiped out, fresh is coming. Wiped out, fresh is coming. Okay, fresh is fresh. Your life is fresh. <laughs> understand? What vasanas will be there? Nothing. Jeevan Mukti. Understand? See, please understand. Without understanding the real essence of spirituality, people will prescribe so many sadhanas. Okay, those sadhanas will put us another vasana. I have to do sadhana. Okay, I have to do practice is another vasana. <laughs> real spirituality is wipe out. Moment to moment you are born, moment to moment you are dying. You means body. But I am deathless in birthless. If you understand this, all impressions. The impressions are remaining because you feel that I am the body. Body is continuing at the age of, the age of death. So the illusion of body is making your vasanas to continue. Why don't you erase it? Moment to moment. So, the Teaching is die every moment. <laughs> die every moment to the vasanas, past. Die as a body. Then that's real birth, consciousness, pure consciousness. Is it clear? Understood? <laughs> but what? You find a you find a fault in my logic. <laughs> There's no need to carry out anything. So There's no need, no. There is it is not carried out. See, it's an illusion of carried out. It's like uh, the bulb is on off flickering, right? But you feel if it's a fast, it will appear like a on. It's not on. The body is like that. Moment to moment is bar and dying. But what is illusion getting carried out is at the time of death, means one, one life, you still think that I am the body. That's why it's continuing. <laughs> I am the witness means it's not dissolving. Okay, these are all the deepest secrets of spirituality. 
ओके एक ले आप कितने कौन हो जाना चाहिए सो दिस आर ऑल द द रियल सीक्रेट्स ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ राइट विदाउट नोइंग दिस यू गेट इनटू वांडर इन स्पिरिचुअलिटी सो डू दिस साधा ड्रॉ दैट साधा आई हैव टू गेट इट अप आस नास आई हैव टू माय अंतकरण परमिशन नथिंग एवरी मोमेंट इट्स हैपनिंग नेचुरली गोइंग all these you are not observing then you are living in the illusion that i am the body then you'll say my antakarna has to be purified and this has to be done all lots of <laughs> so the whole premise is wrong okay so now what is your but clear <laughs> clear <laughs> say please understand the As you go deep in spirit, it becomes so simple and simple and simple. Okay, at the deepest level, so simplicity that you don't have to do anything. But human mind is complex. I have to do something about it. Oh my God, this life and death, I have to do something about it. <laughs> okay, the human mind is complex. That's why a lot of sadhana are prescribed for you. Do this, do this, do this. It's the purpose of prescribing sadhana. You know what is that? To tire the ego. <laughs> to make the ego ego wants to do something i want to do something it tell the ego to don't keep quiet it don't do so you tire the ego to such a level such that i what to do i have asana sarvana my antakarna is not getting purified my mind is still polluted what to do i have done so much of sadhana i have done so much of chanting i have done so much of practice okay then finally you understand oh there's a limitation of all this then finally you come to gnana marga स्क्रिप्चर नंबर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन ओके ओ दैट बिग कॉम्प्लेक्स स्क्रिप्चर ऑल्सो स्टडी स्टिल माई वासना से नॉट गॉन दैन यू कम टू विचार मार्ग वॉन्स यू स्टार्ट डूइंग विचार दिंग स्टार्ट डिसॉलविंग सो आल द पर्पज ऑफ साधना वो डन इज टू आर यू क्लियर सी दी principle of spiritual life is nobody got enlightened because of sadhana the corollary of that is without sadhana nobody gets enlightened <laughs> okay then explanation of that is the purpose of sadhana is to understand the limitation of sadhana <laughs> okay gnana alone can take you beyond sadhana is that clear any questions <laughs> see you have to understand moment to moment i am dying okay the moment to moment death also happens in deep sleep deep sleep is like death only okay huh. deep sleep is like death only but what the problem with the deep sleep is in deep sleep also you go with the thought that i am the body yes. so next day morning is a rebirth i am the body <laughs> the body <laughs> now only thing is in the rebirth is happening with this body because this body is still uh, some uh, uh, left uh, this thing so uh, as the body becomes completely old and this thing you enter into deep sleep so the body is dropped this body is no longer there then you enter another body <laughs> in between you have a dream in that dream you'll go to heaven hell dancing all those things you do then you go to deep sleep then you you enter into another body you know why your deep sleep is an example of death okay one thing is you are not getting enlightened in deep sleep because you are actually throughout the day you are living in the illusion that i am the body question clear you do so when we Go to sleep. We need to just yes, so hum. Huh? Still no, so hum. So, I'll tell you next. I'll teach you how how to convert sleep into samadhi. Nirvikalpa samadhi. I'll teach you. <laughs> you have to give me all, all Himalaya, the trip to Himalayas and all that. You are saving. <laughs> See, what happens is that so much of illusion is created. We have to go to Himalayas. You have to go to this place. You have to leave this and all. Everything is again another level of conditioning. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
Thank you. So, Himalaya, some rushis are there, some are sages are there. All these are social and conditioning, religious conditioning. Real meaning of Himalaya itself is different. The spirituality, unless you decode the meaning, you will never know anything what it is. <laughs> moment to moment, your body is dying. Moment to moment, your mind is dying. Why are you troubled by your past? Because you have illusion that I am continuing, which is wrong. I am as a body, I am continuing. No. As consciousness, I am continuing. Consciousness has nothing to do with these memories. Why are you troubled? So, Gayatri, your question is answered or not? Yes. Okay. So, we will get up, uh, we will go for lunch, then we will do a prayer and close.